1986, uh, probably the second week of August, without my uh, memorabilia to hand, that's all in me, I can't give you the exact date. <clears throat> but we were staying at uh, the motel right next to the uh, Monster Museum uh, in Drummond and Rocket. And every morning before uh, dawn, I would get up and drive up to Urquhart Castle and uh, stand in the parking lot, which is quite a bit elevated over the Urquhart Castle. And it looks down on the bay, as well as the lock itself. Um, it's quite an interesting view because it does cover the huge bay. And that's where uh, one morning, as I was standing there, a light drizzle, a very large something surfaced quite close to Urquhart Castle, but in the bay, and started swimming across the bay. I got to watch it for about half an hour, and it swam at a very leisurely pace, probably 500 yards out into the bay, and then turned towards the east and swam another three or four hundred yards and then turned and swam back to its point of origin where it disappeared. All of this time I was frantically trying to film it, of course, but there was just enough drizzle that the 35 millimeter is not going to cut it. I had a 200 millimeter lens on a Minolta as well as a smaller digital, a non-digital camera. But the 35 millimeter just couldn't do anything for it. But all I can tell you about it is it was, it was moving under its own power. It was very large. It was over 20 feet long and stood about 18 to 20 inches out of the water. There was a light chop running, but not enough to break over this hump. It was, of course, a dark grayish black under those weather conditions. And uh, all I can tell you is it was huge and was dry and was apparently fishing. Uh, it reminded me of one of my Irish fish, Irish setters that used to like to fish in the lake. It just wandered back and forth and apparently it was, it was doing well. But that was my only sighting of uh, the critter. Uh, two of my daughters claimed to have seen it on other occasions, but they never would go into any great description. It's kind of a mystical experience, and I think that's probably why they were fairly silent about it. But uh, that was our first trip to Loch Ness, and then two years later I returned and went pretty much through the same sort of drill, but didn't have any luck at all getting to see the critter. But there is something in the lock. I can't tell you what it is. I wish I could. All I can tell you is what I saw. <laughs>